Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, I want to discuss with you all 12 weeks crash course program that I personally have developed for you guys because you most of you guys are looking for placements and job opportunities. It's final year students are uh, looking for opportunities. Companies are coming in, but they're lacking the skills, right? So this 12 weeks program would help you to get skilled enough and will also make sure that you're landing a job within next 12 weeks. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and see what I have in place for you. Okay, so I hope you guys can see the screen, right? It's a 12 weeks roadmap that I'm going to help you with. So the first and the foremost important thing which I want to tell you guys is that this plan, if you want to get 100% success towards the end of 12 weeks, you need to dedicate four to six hours per week, which is equivalent to 45 minutes to one and a half hour every day, which is very easy for you guys to dedicate in. So week one to four, so first four weeks, you will be focusing on foundational sciences, which is basically building the base or the foundation for this biomedical engineering domain, right? So first two weeks, we will be spending on learning biology, uh, basic cell structure, function, processes, human anatomy, physiology, focusing on major organ systems and things like that. From where you have to learn it, don't worry about it. Whatever I'm going to tell you guys today, I have also provided a free course or a free video link which will help you to gain knowledge on that specific topic. So the first resource I have for you guys is from Khan Academy, uh, Basics Introduction to Biology. Very wonderful course, I have personally taken it through as well. And the second one would be MIT Open Courseware, which is again a wonderful course, but it is a little longer, but little more detailed and in-depth understanding you will be getting from this course. So week one to four, first two weeks is basically studying biology and building our basics and the foundation strong. The second two weeks, which is week three and week four, you will be learning chemistry. Now, most of us think that chemistry is not uh, important for biomedical engineers, but that's completely incorrect because if you are going for analyzer sales or if you are going for uh, working, if you are going to work with analyzers and things like that, then you basically need an understanding about chemical principles, atomic structure, chemical reactions, organic chemistry, proteins, carbohydrates, basically understanding chemistry in detail. So I would say uh, it is basically good for you to have knowledge. You should not be like a pro in these things, but you have to have, you need to have a knowledge in these specific chemistry topics, right? Where do you learn it from? Crash Course Chemistry, a wonderful YouTube channel that I came across and uh, you can go through it. It's a little long course, but uh, I would say you can watch first four videos which is good enough for you to have an understanding about the basics of chemistry so first first week and second week you are building the foundation on understanding biology week three and week four you are building foundation on understanding about chemistry right so you know biology you know chemistry so first four weeks is gone right after that week five to eight the next four weeks is when we start core biomedical engineering principles so we will start with engineering mechanics. So understanding the uh, concept of force, stress, strain and material properties. Now again, when you think why is it related to biomedical engineering? Why is it important? Let me give you an example. Let's say if you want to join a company like Stryker, Medtronic, Baxter, they have different departments. And let's say if you are getting a job opportunity in the orthopedic department, which is basically the implants and you know, uh, the but biomaterial stuffs and things like that you need to understand because let's say if you're uh, using a prosthetic you, it's very important for you to understand the pressure points stress forces and you know biomaterial properties and things like that but in this uh, engineering mechanics or in, in this uh, we course you are not going to study about biomaterials instead you will be studying about uh, forces, stress, how the body works, in the body, what kind of mechanical stress, force or strain is uh, there which is existing and things like that. Uh, now, whatever I'm telling you guys, this is something which I have studied in college days during my final year, right? While I was doing an internship, I was sent, spending extra time to learn all these things and that's why I'm recommending you these courses because it's wonderful, right? Where you have to study it from, there is a wonderful YouTube channel and it's like a detailed course on intro to mucoskeletal system. It is a wonderful course. There are two parts of this video and this is the preview of that uh, YouTube channel. 
so link is here in the ppt you can find the powerpoint presentation in the description you can also find the word doc in the description so it's easier for you to access the links okay so week five and week six we will be spending time to understand engineering mechanics right and uh, understanding basic principles of statics and dynamics relevant to human body that's basically called mucoskeletal system and that's the course i have given you it's a youtube course two parts wonderful course you go through the same and you will be good to go with engineering mechanics or mucoskeletal systems now apart from that from week 7 to week 8 we will be studying electrical engineering why because we are biomedical engineers we need to work with medical equipments so there are two types of domain that you can go to you can either go to the non-technical domain or the non-electrical domain and also you can go to the electrical domain wherein you deal with equipments calibration and things like that so if you want to get into that domain you need to understand the fundamentals like circuits voltage current power transistor resistor capacitor and things like that now this you would have probably studied in your first or second year of college but by the time you reach fourth year you are completely lost as to what it was right so there are two courses that i'll suggest one is from khan academy which is electrical circuits or electrical engineering principles so it is a pretty long course but again explained wonderfully and uh, someone who doesn't know anything about this can also start so it's a beginner friendly course completely free of cost so you can go through this course and once you finish this you can also take again crash course chemistry so crash course is a wonderful youtube channel they have multiple subjects and things like that and uh, there is a typo it's not chemistry so they also have a course on electrical engineering so if you see here history of electrical engineering crash course engineering hash 4 so this course will help you basically to understand the electricals and the the way they have explained it in the video is very cartoonistic and you know you will enjoy watching those videos and it is very easy for you to understand concepts and things like that so week six sorry week seven and week eight you will be spending on learning electrical engineering cool now once that is done what you need to do is you need to start with biomedical topics right important very important so week 9 to 12 you will be spending time to specialize biomedical engineering topics so there are different uh, domains and different uh, topics that you can specialize in biomedical engineering so what i am trying to recommend you guys is select two to three areas of interest now what i have suggested three topics these three topics have good scope in the future that's why i have added these but apart from that you can also also go for any of the specialization that you want you want to go to image processing signal processing digital uh, analysis any of these things you want you can get in but i have recommended three specializations which if you are interested you can pursue so week 9 to 12 week 9 and 12 9 and 10 you will be spending time to learn biomaterials understanding different materials and its properties used in medical devices and implants so there are a lot of companies which are developing implants medical devices so you need to do a lot of research on selecting the right kind of material which will uh, which will not react with human body right and which will uh, work which is very like human friendly i would say so understanding these materials properties and things like that and apart from that biocompatibility that's the word so when a material is uh, is being developed for a medical device or an implant the biocompatibility matters a lot whether uh, the, the material is causing rashes or infections or is it reacting with the human body or the skin and things like that right so a very interesting topic a lot of things you will be learning and uh, where to learn it from class central is a website in which you will find an iit based iit kanpur based course on introduction to biomaterials a wonderful course it's pretty long but around 39 videos are 39 yeah 39 videos are there and uh, so all these courses will take you one day to finish but i would not recommend that take your time you you, you plan four weeks in this 12 weeks course you can also do it in four weeks if you don't have time and your companies and your, and uh, the placement opportunities are coming in so that you that the time constraints you can modify as per your availability so again a wonderful course if you want to study biomaterials from iit kanpur and i believe towards the end of this course you can also get a certificate for the same the second specialization that you can focus on would be biomedical instrumentation so wherein you will be exploring medical imaging techniques like x-ray mri ct scan pep scans and things like that and learning about biosensors and applications in medical diagnostics so bio biomedical instrumentation basically focuses on helping you understand the core concepts of sensors how the signals are acquired how the 
uh, imaging techniques uh, exploring the medical imaging techniques how exactly these kind of machine works what is the principle and things like that so this is something which i'm really interested in you can find this amazing course i would say from youtube which is introduction to biomedical instrumentation and measurement systems one thing which i don't like about this uh, biomedical instrumentation course and biomaterials course is that it is very like old age way of teaching so you will not like it but it's a wonderful course when it comes to uh, the kind of content that they are sharing the amount of knowledge that you will get from these uh, courses or these videos are really great so what i was thinking is uh, 12 weeks program if you guys want i can also make videos for you so that every week you can follow one one course and by the end of 12th week you will have uh, a good skill set that is required for you to land a job cool so if you guys want that drop in the comments and i will be more than happy to help uh, make those videos for you yeah so biomedical instrumentation is the second specialization and the last specialization that you can consider on is biomechanics applying engineering principles to analyze the mechanics of human body so there includes gait analysis joint movement so gait analysis uh, i did a final year project on gait analysis uh, using ai algorithm i don't know what it was because <laughs> i had i barely did any job it was my hod and my colleague who did most of the work and i was doing internship at that point of time so gait analysis is basically an algorithm but so there is a freezing of gait right there is a freezing of gait uh, there are uh, patients who will have seizures and they cannot walk they will suddenly fall down and things like that so gait analysis is basically analyzing when this uh, situation is going to happen and you know giving an alarm before the incident happens and things like that joint movement is basically let's say if you are putting uh, an implant inside let's say if you are putting an artificial bone right so then what kind of biomaterials uh, is used should be used to make that specific uh, implant or artificial organ and at the same time what are the pressure points let's say if you are replacing your uh, patellar bone with an artificial one you need to understand the correct pressure points wherein the pressure uh, wherein uh, basically the the stress will be more the strain will be more the muscles and ligaments would not tore apart and things like that so very complicated but it's very wonderful and uh, i would say this is something wherein you can expect a lot of job opportunities now job opportunities are there but at the same time students are not having the skills which is required to fill these jobs and that's why most of the people are unemployed at this point of time the market is down but still the opportunities are there so how do you study biomechanics again a wonderful course from mit open courseware and this is basically a course to intro to biomechanics you can download this course and study free of cost and it's a detailed course the professors who are teaching these concepts are really great and phenomenal so what after this so now 12 weeks is done you have studied everything uh, you don't have to be a pro at it but you should you should just have knowledge on everything right you should have you should be able to talk when someone is asking about any of these topics once you do this i have made a video on how to make a resume from scratch for biomedical engineering students the link is there in the ppt and in the description you can check that and once you finish this make a resume because now when you see this video you will get a lot of ideas as to what all skills you have to put once your resume is done we will make your linkedin profile don't know how to do it how to optimize your linkedin profile and things like that again a youtube video is there link you can find in the document and in the ppt open that and watch that and simultaneously make your linkedin profile once that is done what you start applying you're not getting calls you need more help don't worry i've got your back i will offer you a one on one mentorship which is completely free 30 minutes of my time wherein you can ask me any of the questions i can help you land a job i can tell you what are the hacks that you can use if you are not getting calls from the hr and things like that so link for that is also there in the description in the ppt and also in the presentation if not you can directly go to my linkedin profile and uh, book a one on one session for yourself so that's about it i believe this video was quite helpful for you guys and uh, if you want these videos on a weekly basis and you want to learn with me or you want me to teach you guys then please make sure you're dropping it in the comments you have more video suggestions please share it with me and i will be more than happy to make the videos till then 
share this video like it if you if it was informative comment whatever you want whatever questions you have for me whatever suggestions you have for me please comment it and please share this video with your classmates with your professors and with your working professional colleagues so i'll see you in the next till then stay safe stay home and let's learn and grow together signing off it's your biomed bro